everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth. Honestly, so far so good. We got the turbo challenge done. The fourth challenge, technically the third one available to us, is Bloody Mary. Oh no. I already fully understand what's going on in this one. So we're Bethany. We can't pick up spirit hearts, but we have child's heart. And spirit hearts are also going to give us charges for Book of Belial. I understand. Now, we do have Blood Oath, so we will get, like, ridiculous... Oh, here's our seed, by the way. D084YZBH, and it goes to... I don't know. I don't know how long this run goes for, to be honest with you, but we'll figure out, you know, when it ends. That's cool. Some of these are, like, half high. Some of them are fully high. I think it's just scenery, but it would be cool if it weren't. Um, Blood Oath is going to give us some awesome damage every single floor, but then we have to live long enough to get a Child's Heart... Uh, you know, well, it doesn't have to be Child's Heart. It could just be any heart, you know, for any reason, as long as it's not a Spirit Heart. So, I really feel like we're actually, weirdly enough, looking for, like, the luck upgrades, if we can snag them. Luck upgrades, Little Chad, Bloody Penny, you know, anything along these lines, even though Bloody Penny will, uh, will take away Child's Heart. It's a cool idea for a challenge, because it means that, like, every floor, you recreate a glass challenge, or, sorry, a glass cannon run, which is novel because most, I know I said it, he said the word, but um, it's interesting. Uh, excuse me, I thought I had a tears upgrade, but uh, maybe just occasionally we shoot a little extra. Um, what I was gonna say is that it's, it's neat, not novel, but neat, because usually in Isaac, you know, you go through an extended period of hardship sometimes, and then once you're through it, you're through it and you never suffer again. Whereas uh, we should, unless there's some way for us to get around it, we're gonna suffer every single floor and I like that because it means that we're always on our toes and we never know if we're going to be uh, if we're gonna be safe on any given floor so an item like yum heart would be nice to sort of take the edge off but book of Belial is great as well um we want to keep as much HP as possible even though it's gonna be lost when we get down to the next floor because the HP that we have is going to dictate the amount that we lose to Blood Oath at the start of the next floor, which is going to indicate how much damage we're going to gain as a result. So we're going to keep our bomb. Maybe we can use that to get access to a heart that would otherwise be inaccessible. Um, yeah, and I don't think we really care about a second secret room if we only have one bomb. We can pretty much use Book of Belial every single room right now, but I'm kind of waiting on these charges until I see if we get like a better item. Alright, so Blood Oath has given us a speed and... Uh, Fairly sizable damage increase, but not as much as I would I would hope for, but, you know, 6.27 damage, certainly not bad. Now, the question that I have to answer for myself is how desperate am I? Am I desperate enough to uh, pop this temperance card, blow it up, in the hopes of getting HP? I think the answer is, try something like that. Blow up the tinted rock, we got half a red heart, a spirit heart that just becomes a charge. Um, but, look, we're starting to starting to get into a good spot here. We don't want uh, spirit arts, we want golden chests, I guess, or, you know, keys are fine as well. Um, and small rock is really the holy grail, but... Short of these? Yeah, we're doing what we can, that was a little scary. Um, oh, they snuck in behind me! That's okay, I don't know, maybe, we, maybe a deal with the devil isn't all that important. I actually think that with damage, we would rather have something like brain worm, um, which... I still don't fully understand, to be honest with you, the concept of Brain Worm, but I know that it makes my tears so much more effective that I would be loath to not take it. Now, we should maybe be a little sensible here. How much does Child's Heart actually help us? Well, let me put it this way. The Anti-Birth Dev, smart dude. If he's balancing this challenge, he probably knows, you know, that that's helpful. It's got to be pretty valuable to, um, you know, make up for the fact that you're starting each floor on half a red heart. But I still think that that, that does not mean that there are trinkets that are, uh, there are no trinkets that are better. I disagree with that. We did get the deal with the devil, so we'll take this because we have no choice. And our deal with the devil is Goathead. I'm all in for that. And again, you know, part of the reason we want to get back to full HP is so that we can, uh, so that we can get a, a larger damage bonus on every subsequent floor. Although, you know, it's kind of a pipe dream right now. I don't know. I really like Brain Worm. I'm, I'll, I'll take damage, like, 
at any available opportunity. Like, it, I mean that in both senses of the word. I will take damage at any available opportunity, but I'll also take any item that gives us the ability to... Uh, no item rooms, I see. Uh, any item that gives us the ability to do damage at any given opportunity, so... I think it's it's clear where my allegiance lies. Hematomesis. Ah, I shouldn't have taken that. Could have gotten into the boss trap room easily there. We still can, but it's going to cost us a bomb. Ooh, sure. Let's do it. We at least made it easy enough for us to live on this room. And who knows, maybe we'll get some kind of amazing payout. But, yeah. Um, I mean, without the ability to really keep a spirit heart, and knowing that every single floor we're going to lose all of our HP, it makes it tough. You know, how, how are we going to know when we're on a, a winnable run? Like, we kind of become... Not even the lost, like, even worse than the lost every single floor. So I think, I mean, was that worth it? It probably cost us some DPS on the next floor, but why wouldn't I? Is kind of my perspective right now. You lose a little DPS, but, you know, maybe gain the ability to pick up nine lives or something like that. You know, something like Holy Mantle would obviously be quite good as well. We can, we can get it. Three bombs. I'm willing to pay three bombs. Ooh, I'll spend one more. I'd sunk cost fallacy. The gods. Doesn't really give us what I want here. You know what else we have that I haven't even touched on? Uh, like fucking unlimited space bar item uh, charges. So if we can get a space bar item, they really you know, sells us. We'd be pretty happy about that. We only gained 0.62 damage. So, not thrilled about that. Uh, Brain Worm, doing some good work. I guess it takes the smartest possible path to an enemy? Maybe? I don't know. Obviously, a little bit of a dangerous room. It's honestly the fires more than anything else. Like, Sure, the dudes themselves are annoying, but it's the fires that are the real scary part. But they're also the way that we could most easily maybe grab a red heart for now? Okay, never mind. Fair to say, I think, that um, hardest challenge in the game so far? That's my perspective. Gotta play very smart. And to be fair, we did give up the easy avenue to pick up extra red hearts. And it's not even that easy. Like, Child's Heart... We weren't rolling in red hearts when we had that item active, so... Don't think we've really given up too much, but we've given up peace of mind. Because now if I get hit, I'm just gonna be like, well, we should have stuck with Child's Heart, we would have been safe. We don't know if that's actually true. But this is nice, I like these... I like these challenges that keep you on edge. So we can pick up Eternal Hearts. I'm assuming that will protect us, and uh... If it does, that's very important. I mean, if I can hold two trinkets, I'm holding both of them. But uh, the Cancer Trinket is probably better, but Brain Worm is pretty fucking good. Be careful. Yeah, you don't want to kill these guys until you uh, you know that you're ready to go. You know, you got to be able to dodge right as soon as they, they die, so be careful. Okay, I would love to buy a Red Heart, honestly. Wouldn't bother me in the least to pick up a Red Heart here. I think it's an extremely sensible decision, and we'll also buy a key in the process, and we'll uh, just live our lives. If I could get a, uh, if I could get a space bar item. I'm trying. Oh, my eternal heart. I'm trying to think of what uh, space bar item could even work for us. Book of Shadows. Uh, unicorn horn. Anything with invincibility. Game Kid. Game Kid is the is the holy grail. If we can get if we can get Game Kid, especially considering all the uh, charges we've got stored up right now, we should be fine. You just use Game Kid, get some HP back, and only use it when you're on death's door. You'll have enough charges to survive, depending on how late the run goes. But um, I think that that's that really is the holy grail for us. Hilariously enough, so Degas without a spirit heart attached to it is really just a, a way to purge curses, but. That could be not so bad. Like a Curse of the Blind, for example. 
be nice to let that go. We knew we were gonna have to fight Krampus eventually. We might as well do it now. And you know what? We might as well suck up a Spirit Heart to do it now. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Like, there's no risk of death on this run. Or, on, there's a risk of death on this run, but not on this boss fight specifically. Like, Krampus' head actually seems like a better play than Book of Belial. And hear me out here, because I know that it's probably a close call in most, you know, in the intellectual Isaac circles of Copenhagen and Prague. They think these items are pretty close, but the ability to store up, like, nearly infinite charges has me thinking. Uh, small rock, please. Okay. Has me thinking, you know. It's very valuable to be able to go into a boss fight and just crack five Krampus' head charges if we need to. And that's the kind of situation we're living with right now, is that that's completely plausible. So, um, I certainly feel like we can get our money's worth out of this. We're going pretty slow right now, but that's because we're looking for special rooms. And if we wanted to, we could even, uh, not special rooms, but the item rooms specifically, which doesn't exist, right? Okay. Fair enough. You got me. Um, I think we don't use Krampus' head yet, because I would much rather have it, as, as annoying as this room can sometimes be, which is to say it's not really that annoying, um, we, uh, would probably rather have Krampus' head for even easy rooms when we have, uh, no HP, is my philosophy. Another amazing item, if we could snag it, the jar? If we could get enough red hearts to even get ourselves... Oh, the freaking jar is in there. Okay, well, we don't have enough money for it. We wouldn't have had enough money either way, but we might have been able to swing it. Because I could have blown up uh, the the keeper head and maybe gotten it. And, well, we, there's our HP, so that's not so bad. Um, we should get a very, very nice statistical bonus here. Let's see what we get. That hurts, but a 4.72 damage upgrade does not hurt. So, I want you to keep in mind that on that room, I didn't even spend the Spirit Heart. That's just the normal Krampus' head charge. But on any... So good. On any room that looks even, like, mildly tricky, we're popping Krampus' head. Like, that room... I don't necessarily want to get into a bad habit, but certainly if I see enemies that are liable to do, like, one full damage, I'm, I'm smacking them. How could I not? I wouldn't be able to live with myself. I think we're starting to come to terms, and, and thankfully it's happening fairly quickly, but starting to come to terms with how to do this. Um, we gotta check these. Speed down. Not catastrophic, but, you know, just stupid to, to take it right now. Okie dokie. Uh, again, not really worth it. But the, that's the beauty of having an extra 15 Krampus' head charges in, in reserve right now. You know, if we ever get hit once and need to pop it again, it's available. Like, I would think about popping it here if I didn't have a good rate of fire a anyway, but I think we're starting to maybe see the light here. Like, that room? Absolutely. Not to mention Spirit Hearts, uh, apparently not that difficult to come by. I'm hoping, oh, so good. I'm hoping the Degas rune actually gives us another charge as well. I don't want to get too cocky, but I think that we could maybe make this one work to uh, work to Mom's heart if we had to. That was extremely bad, but luckily we can absorb that damage. Um, like that's probably something we want to avoid, just using Krampus' head because the room is annoying. But luck stat is zero. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just blow you up. Take whatever we can get. Um, uh, probably not gonna play the blood bank. It seems a little bit like playing with fire. I do want the damage bonus whenever possible. Oh, we got a charge back, so that's better. But we have eroded our base a little bit here. Yeah, maybe the mom's heart thing, even though I said it mere moments ago, a little premature, perhaps. Seven cents for the booster pack. Uh, gettable? Uh, it's a highly gettable. We know we're gonna have a deal with the devil, though, so just slow our roll. And it's gonna be a deal deal. Well, it might just be red chests, but even those, you know, nothing wrong with it. All right, let's see what we got. Krampus' head is like renewed hope for me. Matchbook did give us a charge. And the quarter. Guppy's Collar is actually really good. 
I think I will take the quarter and use the gauze, even though it's not going to purge a curse, because we're going to buy a booster pack and hope for maybe like a two of hearts to be in there. Okay. And the stars and the devil. I mean, the stars gives us boss rush access, but I think it's really, you got to go two of hearts. And even though we don't have anything to work with BFFs, I'm going to take it regardless, because I think that that is a, uh, a sensible play, is all I'll say about that. I think it's downright congenial. It's a smart idea. That's going to hurt. We're not dodging that. we got a five damage bonus there. Four calling birds, three French hens, two big doves. Right, that doesn't help me as much as I thought it would. I was like, well, all we have to do is get a spirit heart and we're set. Eh, not quite. Not in today's day and age. Do you use two of hearts right away? I think you do, honestly. Might have seemed like overkill, but it, it just immediately gives us that peace of mind that we want. We're looking for, for full health in our pills, by the way, because if we can manage to make full health happen, like nothing can stop us. As long as we, we hold it till we need it. Um, in here, double trinket action would be nice, but let's make sure that we're going to be able to get that HP first. Might seem like a waste of two of hearts, but honestly, this isn't your average run, right? Like, we've got to be a little bit more... Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, we didn't get the double trinket yet, right. Um, might seem like a waste, but honestly, I, I don't think that's the case. We're also, like, already on the Necro 1 boss fight. If this one only goes to Mom, we're set. Like, no problems whatsoever. Ooh. Unlike Turbo, it's not that fast either. That's uh, double trinkets. Not my favorite boss. Get an HP upgrade with the luck up. And the luck, again, I can't overstate. I think that luck is very valuable. Lord of the Pit is useful. I don't really care about Brother Bobby, even if we can buy it. And we might be able to, to be fair. And now our HP is, like, worth worth nothing to us. I actually think that we should probably, uh, not our HP, sorry, but, like, if we get hit, it's not worth as much. I kind of feel like we should just farm up, uh, like, an Emperor card or something. That's uh, so close. Saw my life flash before my eyes, but, um, let's, let's enjoy our time on this floor with some HP. That seems like a, the right decision to me. But if we get an Emperor card... The smart play is just to bounce down to the next floor, pop the Emperor card, you know, use as many charges as possible against Mom, and then, you know, pretty much just win the challenge. This is a cool challenge. I could see... I'm not saying that I get unreasonably unlucky at all. I, I certainly would not suggest that. The lengths I will go to save one bomb versus the number of times I will just avoid picking a bomb up. Kind of funny, but... Um, that one made me look clever, though, so I'll take it. But, uh, I could see how, like, maybe on this challenge I've been luckier than on the average challenge. Like, it really seems like I kind of got the right combination of items. A lot of spirit arts have dropped in. Ooh, that was bad. Left me with the ability to, um... You know, if, if next floor is the last floor, go down to the next floor without really having any, uh conception of being in that tough of a spot if I'm being honest like we might as well pop this how many freaking bats exist in bat country here that's too many bats I would say four bats is the maximum number of bats after that you got to get a bat permit and dude you do not want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the bat board in Halloween everybody's having a good time but when it gets into January those guys are bloodthirsty okay Self. Just a safe distance back. So, I mean, if we play our cards right, and this next floor is the last floor, and if I'm messing that up, then so be it. Um, if we're playing our cards right, nah, it's unnecessary. Then the next floor should be the last time we're at, like, any risk of danger. Oh, that's, I mean, it probably won't do much for us, but I appreciate it. Actually, we should look for a uh, second secret room. Just on the off chance there's a red heart, which there's not, but that's okay. All right. Um, we, we should be slightly under the gun at the start of this floor, and then we'll figure it out. 
Acropolis 2 again. Very hopeful this is our last, uh, our last floor here. What are we looking for? HP. Any room with the slightest ink. Oh! Guppy's collar. Guppy's collar has saved us. I'm gonna say, any room with the slightest inkling of being able to kill us, we're getting out of there. Oh my god, we got HP. Holy crap. Okay, well, I mean, we owe an enormous thank you to Guppy's Collar, so everybody say thank you, Guppy's Collar. Weirdly enough, I don't have a charge. Maybe we need more spirit arts to get it charged? It's not taking six per time, is it? That's crazy talk. Um, we're not quite in as good of a spot as I thought, but honestly, with seven damage and a devil card, and slightly less HP than I was hoping to have. Um, then we got a decent chance. Why buy the Spirit Heart? You go back and think about this run. You decide the Spirit Heart is the right choice of all the available opportunities. Was looking for a Spirit Heart there, because that time a bomb for a you know, half of a charge, or even one-sixth of a charge, not necessarily that bad. Um, other things that could give us great success? Second secret room, which is likely to be on that room that we were just in. Let's check. Beautiful. Red hearts. Not red hearts. Three health ups? That's ridiculous. Balls of steel. Range up. Health up. Health up. Well, it really feels like we should, um... We should embrace the fact that we have to fight the boss with low HP, right? Like, that's in the spirit of the challenge. So, I don't want to rebuke the challenge, but I would also be just not acting in my own interests if I didn't at least try to get some more HP before we finish, right? Like, one and a half HP is fine. We've already died once on this run. I'd prefer not to have to do it again. And I recognize, by the way, it is basically solely due to Guppy's Collar. Well, not basically. It's 100% solely due to Guppy's Collar that we're even here. Is that lucky? I mean, sure. What are you doing? Sure, it's lucky. It's not unlucky. But we paid for the item. If, if Guppy's Collar doesn't bring you back, do you go, oh, you got unlucky? No, you go, hey, that's the price of doing business. If it brings you back once, the, oh, the RNG is in your face. Yo, I spent a resource to pick up Guppies. No, I didn't. It was just in the... Well, no, I did. Because even though it was in the red chest... My God. Even though it was in the red chest, I had to pay for Goathead. So as far as I'm concerned, I paid in blood. So we're at 3 HP. And we don't even need to be here anymore. But what kind of a player would I be? What kind of a player would I be if I didn't at least entertain the thought of going to the cursed room? The cursed room where dreams are made and then dashed and made again. I wouldn't be any kind of player at all if I didn't take a little bit of a risk on that one. Debatably pretty dumb decision, but check it out, check it out. Holy mantle heart that doesn't even work. Amazing. It's the secret. Oh, we're so set. All right, this run's gonna be like completely fine. Fun challenge though. You notice that the challenge, my perception of the difficulty and enjoyment of a challenge is pretty much directly tied to whether or not I succeeded on it. But uh, let's not count our chickens again. I'm acting as if this is the final floor. There's a decent chance it's not, and I'm like, oh, let's let's run out the clock on this one. If we gotta go down to the next floor, things could be uh, things could be tough, dude. Things could be tough. Why not, right? All right, let's do this. We got a fire around us for that because we have a holy mantle heart. That seems a little silly. Oh, well, <laughs> there's more than meets the eye, unfortunately. Well, Polaroid giving us invincibility doesn't seem that amazing. Uh, nor does the Nail, which gives us a charge every single time. What is this one again? It's Oculus Rift. Damage up, range up, controlled tears. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. 
I don't think we want the nail, though. You're gonna say, why don't you take the nail? Because you can't get spirit hearts, so we get a damage bonus, sure, but I'd rather just have, like, a spammable Krampus's head. Right, okay. So, things are gonna be tough. Where are we getting these fires from? Like, it's like we glitched the game when we died and came back. So they've given us, um... We basically are Bethany right now. Except we don't have the punishments of being Bethany. No, get away from me. You did this the first time. I don't know what happened to my voice there. You did this! Nathaniel! <laughs> no, you know what voice that is? Ron, stop it! Stop it, Ron! I don't know how I feel about this item. I'm trying to control the tears. We need, like, some brimstone action with this. Unlikely, I suppose. Alrighty, alrighty. Well, we're still alive. We're still here. We're still kicking it. I know you're looking for a trenchant insight for something right now. Unlikely, sir. I'm focusing. Remember the last floor when I thought for sure I would beat the challenge? Now I'm, uh... Confident, but less assured. Now, one HP does not do it anymore. It's like, thanks, but no thanks, you know? We need a little bit more certainty. Guarantee ourselves a spot at the table. Yeah, you're gonna get nuked for sure. Maybe even get nuked twice, but we have... We can stay out of line of sight with you, so... Just get him, just get him. Just roast him, okay. Uh, we can get- oh, that's the ticket. Get rid of Petrified Poop. Hold Cancer and the left hand. That way we have, uh, the ability to get extra Spirit Hearts. Sure, extra Spirit Hearts maybe not worth that much. Uh, except they're worth charges. So I would endeavor to have them a great deal and they would be extremely useful for me. So thank you. Now we got, like, a lot of fires going on for us here. Again, I think that these fires are ill-gotten gains. But, uh, you know I'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts. It thinks we're Bethany and I'm okay with that. Because it, we, we're carrying the negative of being Bethany. I guess we should carry the positive of like having that book effect, even though it, again, ill-gotten gains. But it's so ill-gotten. It's the most ill-gotten of all gains, Chris gains. Oh, come on. All right, one full heart to go into that cursed room. Oh, you gotta admit. I don't know why I became like an NPC from The Witcher. I got to admit, Witcher, that's mighty tempting. That's, I'm not knocking it, the game's got good voice work. It's got great voice work, actually. But... There's a little bit of, oh, I'm just looking for me, Pan, you know, and that's, that's charming in and of itself. Come on, dude, you are slain. You have been slain thusly. Not really concerned, uh, or happy about our HP, I should say. Because it's, you know, all things in time come to an end here. Like, our HP doesn't really do much for us. Uh, except on this floor. We're basically building a run from scratch every single floor here. It's a speed downgrade pill. There's only two pills in the game. Health down, or health up, speed down. Truth be told, you can get a worse rotation. Truth be told, the sun may rise in the east, and at least it's settled in a final location. It's understood that TJ Maxx has 200 locations. You know, just in case the red chili peppers are sold out. Oh, we've done it. Okay, I like it. A, uh, a tears upgrade. Actually very valuable. Absolutely little brimstone. Let's head downwards here. Not scared at all, although if we get hit once, we will be killed. Um, 9.69 damage, but don't get attached. Little Brim is gonna help us, you know, stay at range to enemies. Kinda wish we had some charges left. We're building up a pretty nice, like, stable here, though. We don't need to, we don't need to kill this guy with the uh, charge. That would be a waste. Easy mode. Hematomesis. The greatest save of all time. If this one goes to mom's heart, we just won. And I I don't even mean that, like, 
in a funny way. Like, you know, I, I, I don't think there is the potential for that to backfire on us. Realistically. Like, it's so good. Doesn't mean that, you know, I haven't snatched defeat from the Jaws of Victory in better situations. But it's really the ideal pill to show up in that situation. Two rooms deep on a floor that I was a little frightened by. But I still want to, if possible, not take damage. You know, Mom's heart is no slouch. Shot speed down, fairly irrelevant. 15% lower shot speed. Big whoop. That looked like a secret room to me, so... And again, I like it. It's a nice feather in your cap to beat a challenge on the first try. Because, you know, you when you beat it on the first try, you beat it on the first try forever. It never goes away. Or as uh, DMX said, I love my baby mama. I never let her go. That's kind of how I feel about challenges. Full health. A new Martian record for best pill ever. Friendly spiders. Sign me up, dude. We will slay. Please don't make me go all the way to the end of the game. I've earned it. In some in some nebulous way, I've earned it. Well, it kind of fucked up the Krampus' head charge. Fires are doing a great job, though. You're gonna make me go all the way? Is this even legal? We gotta keep enough HP to actually, like... Oh, that's the Oculus Rift. We gotta keep enough HP to actually, like... You know, win. I guess we gotta beat Shoal. Is this like a Bloody Mary thing? Does Bloody Mary kill... Oh, no! Oh! In the back of my head. There's no way this can backfire. If you beat it on the first try, you beat it forever. Ver, 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 ver. I mean, I walked into the enemies. The enemies, uh, spoilers, they turn invisible and teleport all over the room. That's my bad, but I I'm eager to try that challenge again. We didn't even get anything that breaks it, except for a hematomesis and full health pill. In hindsight, should have kept one of them for a later floor. But, you know, I was excited. I thought the challenge was going to end right there. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Apologies for any audio issues that might be happening in this episode. Um, trust me, I'm working on it. For now, thanks for watching. Again, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.